talk about news. Yesterday up on Capitol Hill, there was a three-hour hearing of the Senate Judiciary Committee, and uh, there was a sparring session between, as you can see, screen left, Ted Cruz, the senator from Texas, and Eric Holder, the highest lawman in the country. Mr. Cruz had a bunch of really good questions. Hey, Eric Holder, uh, it's been, what, pert near a year yeah. after the Inspector General of the Department of Justice and the IRS revealed that the IRS had been illegally targeting members of the Tea Party, conservative and pro-Israel groups. Where's the justice, he wanted to know. If you missed it, here's a minute's worth. Is it your position that out of the 117,000 employees at the Department of Justice, the only lawyer available to head this investigation was a major Obama donor? I don't have any basis to believe that the people who are engaged in this investigation are doing so in a way other than investigations are normally done. That is by looking at the facts, um, applying the law to those facts, uh, and reaching the appropriate conclusions. I don't have any basis to believe that anything other than that is occurring. Well, I will say a lot of American citizens have a basis to believe it. Given the 280 days have passed, no one's been indicted. 280 days have passed, and many, if not all, of the victims have not even been interviewed. 280 days have passed, and apparently the anger and outrage that both the president and you expressed has utterly disappeared. Indeed, last night in the State of the Union address, the president did not so much as mention the words IRS. So that anger and outrage sees very little manifestation in actual action. So Ted Cruz are actually calling it possibly faux rage. I mean, by mm -hmm. quote, it was intolerable and inexcusable by the president, Eric Holder, outrageous and unacceptable. Um, and the appearance of impropriety standard that they are supposed to be abiding by is certainly sure. um, something he's cutting right into the heart of right there. But, if, but by the way... Does this sound familiar, guys? Yeah. It sure this does, is, Brian. This is the same rhetoric. What, what, what the attorney general is doing is the same thing he's do uh, with Fast and Furious. He's going to run out the clock. He's not going to have answers to any questions. They're going to demand answers in writing. He's going to give insufficient follow-up. And then sooner or later, if the American people do not have, if they continue to have ADD when it comes to this stuff, it is going to go away. And so Bob Woodward's going to write about it in about three or four years, and that'll be the story. There's got to be a way to break this deadlock. He talks, they talk, nobody gets any answers, and we basically highlight the questions. Sure. So we don't know exactly uh, who's going to be held uh, criminally liable if anybody is the IRS. By the way, if you've got a question for the IRS, the National Taxpayer Advocate, a watchdog group, came out yesterday yeah. and said uh, a lot of people called them, 20 million calls went unanswered, and this year we have 400 walk-in centers across the country. Yes. What they're going to do is they're only going to answer basic questions at walk-in sites during filing season, and then after the month of April, they're not even going to answer any questions for anybody at the walk-in centers, even if you wound up with an extension. And even so if you stay online, them, I don't know. even if you're on hold for 18 minutes, which is the average wait time yeah. now, it has increased. But we're not going to wait any longer to get to Heather now. Or wish her good morning. Good morning, and you know that reminds me, a lot of people have questions for the governor yeah. of the state. Of Georgia, because we're talking about the fallout from the weather there. We start right now with a Fox News alert. Georgia officials are under fire over their delayed response to the storm that really socked the South. A lot of cars are still 